messages you are about to hear were first given on our daily radio broadcast. Woodrow Kroll is the speaker, and this series of four messages is entitled Making the Right Choice. We'll hear about moral decisions and personal decisions. Now it's a privilege for me to introduce Dr. Kroll. Today, my friends, you and I are faced with a whirlwind of moral issues. We look at those things that happen in our world and we say, what would God have us to believe? What would God have us to do? You know, many of the issues that we read about in the paper, many of the issues we hear on the television or the radio, many of the issues that are facing you right now are the kind of issues in which there is just not a thus saith the Lord answer. And yet some issues are as black and white as they can be. God's word has a clear answer for others. And whether the issue you're facing is in that gray area of morality or in a black and white area, some of the moral issues that you and I face today are issues that we must bring to bear God's word on those issues. So whether you're involved in a pro-choice or pro-life debate, you know that there are people around. Dr. Death has been around lately helping people take their own lives. Those are moral issues And you and I have to make decisions about those issues based on God's Word. Should you choose extraordinary medical care? What if there's someone in your family right now who's suffering terribly and you want to know what to do? Is it ever right for a Christian to go to war? There are a lot of places in the world today in which people are at war. The question is, how will you determine what is right and what is wrong? What about wealthy Christians? in a world filled with hunger. Well, there are all kinds of issues that face the Christian today. The question is, how are we going to determine what God wants us to believe about those issues? My suggestion to you today, my friends, is that we all get back to the Bible. The Bible is the criterion of right and wrong. The Bible is the criterion of good and bad. It's not your mind or my mind. It's not your opinion or my opinion. Frankly, our opinions don't matter very much when it comes to moral matters. What matters is what the Word of God has to say. The Bible has specific commands which anyone who honors God has to follow, has to obey. But the Bible also has precepts and principles. These precepts and principles apply to moral decisions that we have to make. Do you know what those precepts are? Do you know what some of the principles are that are found in God's Word that will help you make moral decisions? Well, again, the Bible has the answer. Precepts are commands or appeals which express explicitly God's will for us. Those are the things in God's Word where there's absolutely no question. It's either black or white. It's never gray. Principles are spiritual guidelines through which we must use our spirit-filled judgment in applying these guidelines to the decisions of our life. So whether you have to find a principle in God's Word upon which to make your decision, or you find a precept in God's Word, regardless, the place to find the answer is still the Word of God. It is the Bible. We have to be careful, however, that we do not apply a principle of the Old Testament which has been fulfilled by Christ or changed in some way by grace in the New Testament. That's why we need to study God's Word. That's why we need to know God's principles and His precepts for ourselves. Now, a program like Back to the Bible is designed specifically to help you understand God's Word. We are here teaching the Word and touching the world. And yet, our great goal is to allow you to make up your own mind about things, to teach God's Word in such a way that you will come to understand God's Word. You will know the principles of His Word and the precepts of His Word. Today on Back to the Bible, I want to explore with you what God's Word has to say about the moral issues that you and I face in life. And to do so, I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, you may wish to respond to these questions, but you don't have to. We're going to look into God's Word to find out what His response is anyway. But as I ask the question, you think what your answer may be. The questions I'm asking are questions that relate to the principles and precepts of God's Word. When you are faced with a moral decision, how are you going to know what God would have you do in that decision? Well, my suggestion is ask yourself these questions. First of all, ask yourself, can I do this 
in Christ's name? Can I do what I'm planning to do in the name of the Lord Jesus? Can I say that I am an ambassador for Christ when I do this thing? Do you know what it means to act in behalf of the Lord Jesus, to be an ambassador, to do something in the name of the Lord Jesus? To act in Jesus' name is to act in harmony with his will. It means that you and I will do nothing that is out of character with the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember Paul's great advice in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Now, you notice it says, whatever you do, whether it's done through your mouth or through your speech, whether it's done through your walk, through your legs, whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, you're facing a difficult situation in life. It's a moral matter, and you want to know what God's response would be. Ask yourself this question. Can I do this in the name of Jesus? If I do this thing, am I doing what Christ would do? Thank you for listening to Back to the Bible. Join us again tomorrow. God bless you.